The basic function of the sandbox is the interactive hypsometric map. In simple words, the device colors the sand in accordance to its level or should I say elevation. When I build a hill, it's colored red. If I dig a trench, on the other hand, it turns blue. On the relatively flat ground level, we can see mostly greens and yellows. It's what's called a hypsometric scale, used by cartographers to describe the landform on a map. In addition, we have the contour lines, or isohypsis, connecting points of the same elevation. After a little while, the operating principle of the device becomes crystal clear. It's time to use the button on the column. Holding it for a few seconds will activate the water flow. It's announced by an icon shown on the sand. To induce the water flow, you have to raise your hand about 30 cm above the sand pit. Water will appear right below your hand. To remove it from the map, simply push the button once. Now the water flow is blocked for 10 seconds. Let's create a small pool. Now I will fill it with water. Watch what happens when I remove a portion of the pool's wall. We can clearly see how the water flows to the lowest regions. Holding the button for a few seconds will deactivate the water flow again. This accurate simulation, in combination with the precise color mapping, is what makes the AR Sandbox a great educational tool. However, those are just the basic functions. Now let's see an overview of all the options and settings. Different color schemes. Removable contour lines and color blending. Adjustable projection range. Freeze function that turns the 3D landscape into a two-dimensional map. Various overlay images that can be projected on top of the sand. Terrain shape export to a 3D file through the supplied USB port. And lastly, the additional modules.